Hello, I'm David Taston with 98.9, Nine, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, get everything you need to know in 90 seconds to 9 o'clock, including the latest dairy auction results. The results overnight were mixed. In US dollar terms, it was another decline, the seventh in a row, and down 1.8%. Skim milk powder, butter and cheese were all down between 2 and 4% from the last auction. But the exchange rate fell at the same time, and in New Zealand dollar terms there was actually a small rise in overall prices of 0.3% from the last auction. The automatic stabilisers at work. In Europe, JP Morgan Chase, HSBC and Credit Agricole were all accused last night by the European Union's antitrust arm of colluding to manipulate interbank lending rates. China's gold demand fell 18% in the first quarter as they bought fewer bars and coins, offsetting some growth in jewellery, the World Gold Council said. Worldwide, investor demand in bars and coins fell sharply. EFTs stopped selling and central banks increased their purchases modestly. Trouble in Thailand will not help gold demand as well. There was some small growth in recycled gold supply, but mine supply was down from the previous quarter, although up from the same quarter a year ago. In New York, the price of gold fell marginally as now at $1,290 an ounce. Oil is basically unchanged. Benchmark US Treasury 10-year bond yields are at 2.52 in this morning and essentially going nowhere. US stocks, however, are falling and not too far off being down 1% on the day following a number of disappointing quarter results. On the exchange rate, we start the day with the New Zealand dollar lower at 85.7 US cents, its lowest level this month and down against most other countries. But we are up against the Aussie at 92.7 Aussie cents. The TWI is now at 79.8, the first time this month it's been below 80. I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.